Let's take a look at how we can use the widget area element of Drive Team Builder. This element will allow you to add widgets to your templates. Right now I have accessed my templates section of Drive Team Builder and I'm going to hover over one of my templates and click on edit to open it in the Drive Team Builder editor. So as you can see we have just accessed our editor and now to add the element we can simply click on the plus sign from the right sidebar and start typing widget area. As you can see, we'll find the element and then we can grab it and drag and drop it anywhere on our template. I'm going to add it to my sidebar like so. And once you do that, a pop up opens from where you can choose which widget area should be added to your template. I'm going to go for this one, for example. Once you do that, you will be shown the widgets that have been previously added to the widget area that you've just chosen here. Once you have inserted the widget area of your choice, you will have some options on the left sidebar, as you can see right here. The first option is the orientation one, and this one allows you to choose whether the content should be divided into columns or if the elements should be displayed in a row. After you have established the orientation of the elements inside the widget area, the next option is the source one, and this allows you to change the widget area that you have previously chosen after placing the element on the template. So if you click on this field, you will be shown the widget areas that you've seen in the pop-up that appeared upon adding the element to the template. So anytime you want to change the widget area, you can do so from this source option. Now this message, click here to edit your widget areas, is the option that allows you to modify the existing widgets from the back end of WordPress. So if we click on this message, we will be taken to the WordPress admin dashboard into the widgets section. So these are the existing widget areas and you can open each of them and add or remove elements from them. For example, if in our default widget area we add a block, let's say an image. So as you can see, after adding this image widget to my default widget area, it has been included here. And I also have this tribe leads widget that does not have any preview available, but you're going to see that if we add the default widget area into our editor, we're going to be able to also see the form inside this widget. If we go back to our template and add the default widget area, this image will show. So if I add another widget area element and choose the default one, this has added both the image widget as well as the tribe leads widget that was added to the default widget area of my WordPress account. And of course, besides the widget area options that are found in this section of the left sidebar in your Drive Team Builder editor, you are also able to use all of these other options, which are more general, to further customize the widgets inside this element. For each of these sections, we do have separate tutorials in our knowledge base that I encourage you go and take a look at. I really hope this tutorial was useful and helped you understand how to add and customize a widget area element in Drive Team Builder.